Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 Before You Buy video. So, in this video, we're going to review Charleston Fire Station bundles. So, let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so the first item we're going to take a look at is going to be the Charleston Fire Station that you can find uh, at the MISC structures section. So you can see it, there it is. That's how big it is. Uh, let's compare it to the Brotherhood Steel. I think Brotherhood Steel is still bigger, but whichever. Now, take a look at, uh, take a close attention to the budget as soon as I build it so you can see for yourself how much uh, budget it takes. Ah, that's a lot of budget, man. So uh, that's what we got for the. Oh man. They kind of like the same something. Almost like same height. Not bad. Maybe. Well, this foundation. Maybe this one's just a little bit smaller. Uh, but that's what we have. So I assume. And my assumption was correct. There is actually a door included as well. So if you go to the door section, you will be able to find it. Uh, so there we go. We got the door as well. Now let's see how it opens. It's weird that they don't explain it. That's pretty cool. It's weird that they don't explain it in the actual product description that the door is included. <laughs> so yeah. I, I like the way the door interacts and everything. There we go. You can make some a pretty decent town on all this. Anyway, so this is how it looks inside. You got the fireman Paul as well. Yeah, man. I wonder, can you interact with it? Oh, the roof looks pretty cool as well. I like it. Too bad the flag isn't animated, you know, like we have those flags that are actually animated. If it were to be animated, it would probably be better than what it is. Well, but well, then again, that's my personal opinion. And I was talking about, uh, let me try to find a flag. Here you go, I found the flag. Took me a while. So it's also in misconstructions. Like if it were to be animated, that would be cool. Alright, the other thing what I wanted to check out is that can you actually interact with this pole? That would be pretty cool if there would be like a, some sort of an animation. You're going down. Oh, you can! Slide! <laughs> nice! They thought of that! Congratulations! That's pretty dope! <laughs> Alright. Gives that little additional spark to this building. Okay, cool. I mean, essentially it's kind of like almost similar to this one, right, the structure and everything, apart from it has a fireman uh, pole, however you call that. By the way, do have in mind, I am from Ukraine sometimes, so I do mispronounce stuff, so I do apologize for that. But anyway, actually this building is pretty cool, maybe at some point I'm just going to uh, build a camp using all of these uh, pre-built structures that I have. Uh, also some of the shelters, they also have enough room to build these things so you can actually uh, uh, build some pretty decent things I mean look at these big big structures man it's crazy a lot of good things anyway so that's uh, for the fire station let's see what else we have in the menu we have about four items although I'm gonna skip one which is the player icon I'm not gonna show the player icon we got the fireman's uh, flamer. So for that you'll need uh, essentially the flamethrower and the workbench. Alright, so the fireman's flamer, right? As I said, you will need uh, the flamethrower, you will need the weapon workbench, then you will need to go to your short flamer or whichever flamer you have, go to the default appearance and select the fireman. which. If my memory doesn't fail me, we already had this uh, skin, so it's uh, nothing new. Uh, and where are you? There we go. Chick. So yeah, as I said, nothing new. 
We already had this. But anyway, still. It is what it is, huh? <laughs> Alright, so the sun is going down. Let's take a look at the final piece, which is the actual outfit. Which, I was actually really looking forward to this helmet. And I want to see how it's going to work with the samurai outfit. All, by the way, everything that I did was just first impression. So, I haven't had the time to play around with it. But, that's how the outfit looks like. I actually enjoy the actual outfit as well. It's actually looking pretty cool. It's like pretty bulkish. Looking good. I like the helmet though as well. There's goggles and everything. Look at that. By the way, quick check. Pathminder gas mask. Nope. Alright, so I'd assume everything is included and you can't re really replace anything. But the fireman helmet, man, that looks nice as well. It would be really nice if we could get that sort of like the under mask mask, uh, the under helmet mask, like separately and the goggles separately. We could definitely make something nice, different types of uh, builds with uh, outfits, etc. But yeah, so that's the outfit itself. I like it. That's from behind. Let's see if we can get some light over here. and that's from the front alright let's check how it's gonna look like with this outfit looking good I actually like this one more <laughs> no it's not sticking out right and this outfit is actually what deep cave uh, hunter outfit and the final one that I wanted to check this outfit with is the samurai one no, the neck is sticking out. Dang it. I was thinking maybe it's gonna look like a shredder build. But still, looks good. Looks good. Right? Right. So anyway, to get this outfit, essentially, you'll definitely need your uh, armor workbench, and you go to the outfit section to get the to craft the outfit right there we go and you go to letter F there's the firewall outfit and then for the helmet you will need to go to the head aware and then again navigate to letter F and you will find the firewall helmet so that's pretty much it Z clan and everybody else you all know the drill. I hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like. Comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them. Nobody can read them. Nobody can respond to them. So if you got something to say, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. Simple as that. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to ZClan. I'm Gamer ZSol from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, there is still a war going on in Ukraine. As you can see, it's day 33. And if you feel like doing a little bit of charity or donations, I did post two links to two official funds. One is for military uh, aid and the other one is for uh, humanitarian. Both are provided by the NBU. NBU is the National Bank of Ukraine. So if you're feeling to help us out a little bit, feel free to use those links and anything helps. So highly appreciate all the support and all of the love that you're helping us all. <laughs> and I'll keep working on these videos for you. <laughs> Alright, Z Clan and everybody else. Once again, thanks all for watching. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go. We are Z Clan.